Good morning, everybody. It's Nathan Reed from theticketotravel.com. Today is day 17 in India, and today is D-Day for our Arunachal permit. We're going to the office today, to Arunachal Pradesh government office, two offices actually, to try to get our permit. We've got some, a little bit of outside help. Uh, we hope that that will allow us to get it for a fair price and allow us to get it today. This is our last ditch effort to get a permit to go into that state which is the most closed state as far as we understand of all of India. It's the most remote and furthest east, farthest east of India and it's also the most sparsely populated state of India. Uh, but it is a very exotic and alluring place and beautiful. We are determined to go there. So this is our last effort to go. We cannot get the permit, we have no choice. I want to say I won't take no for an answer, but sometimes there's just no way around it. But we are very hopeful, so we're gonna try. If we can't get in, then we'll have to move on to another place today. I'm actually gonna go by myself and get this permit stuff done. In the meantime, uh, if you don't already know, Danica is the chief editor of all of our videos, so she will be doing editing work while I'm gone. I wish you well on your editing today, my dear. You wish me well on my permit. <laughs> Are you Bill Clinton? So I'm back at the office where we began everything, but the officer that we need to speak to is not here still. So now we must see uh, if we can do it without her signature or if she will come soon. Uh, very frustrating. signature. Yeah. Can we take train tonight to Itanaga? Yeah, sure. And bus also. Okay, after her signature, we have to go to the other office near downtown hospital. Should I go there first? I didn't really get anything accomplished this morning either. The woman that we needed the signature from, she's not there. They say maybe she'll come at 1.32 this afternoon. So I'll go there. The one thing we found out about the Arunachal permit is that you can get a electronic form sent to your email. So once we do the paperwork here, we can just go. But they still say it will take three business days. And because today is a Friday, Saturday and Sunday is closed, so we wouldn't get it until probably Tuesday of next week. So we're forced to move on. Uh, the other thing we found out is as far as we know, it is about 3,500 rupees per person, which is for the two of us, well over 100 American dollars just to go into this small state, which is really annoying, but in view of our motto of doing out of the ordinary things and out of the way places, this is very out of the way, this is very different. Um, it's not like Bhutan or something where it's a whole country that is expensive and they still have more wealthy uh, visitors go there. This is a very remote place that is very close from the rest of the world uh, that we really want to explore. So I think we will still do it if it's that much money, but no more than that. That's only if we don't go through an agent. An agent will take at least 1,000 rupees per person uh, commission. So we want to get at least around that so we can save a little bit because we're trying to be careful. Um, we don't have that much just to be throwing around. 
so that's where it is at now but we'll confirm by the end of this video exactly what you need if you are planning to go to Aruna's health desk for your PAP permit. So seeing as we have to go to the office at like 1.32 o'clock uh, but our hotel closes or our hotel uh, checkout time is 12 we're just packing up our stuff. After we go to that one office we'll probably have to go to another office which is actually one we've never been to but that's the one that was contacted by a friend's friend in the main office in Aruna's Helper Desk. You get me? So we were given a contact number for that place and I called like eight times and it always says the lines are busy. I don't even know if it's working. So a friend of ours is gonna to try to get the address for that place so we can go there because maybe they'll give us a break, maybe they'll give us a little bit of help as our uh, position is explained and we explained it's a, also a benefit for Arun Salpredes tourism because there's like zero information on, on this place as far as videos and, and even for the, getting the permit like this is why we're in the situation because we knew nothing because there's almost nothing on the internet about how to do it and it's so vague uh, sad thing is that over time things might get changed and then this will be outdated but we'll give you as pertinent information as we can uh, if you're planning on doing this yourself. So what just happened was we went back to the office where we were told we needed to come for a woman's signature, the head of tourism something something for Arena Shalpadesh. So we came here to the office. At first we were told we couldn't meet with her, she wasn't going to give us a signature, we had to go somewhere else, blah blah blah. Um, but we were very insistent to speak with her. We spoke directly to her. She did not even realize that someone told us that we needed her signature, that's not actually what was necessary. We very clearly said that we cannot continue to stay, we cannot continue to use our day processing this uh, permit, we just, we need to go. We're going to go somewhere else. We're going to go to Nagaland first. So we just want to submit our paperwork, go to Nagaland, and then get it sent to us electronically. Then we'll go from Nagaland up to Rinchalpadesh. Um, so what we did was we gave her the, the payment directly. She was able to do it without a travel agent. And she will submit the papers today. Tomorrow is Saturday, next day is Sunday, so it's closed for the weekend. But she's going to Arun Chapadesh. And while she's there, we will contact her. The paperwork will be going through. And she will make sure that once the permit is issued, once everything is finished, she will either scan it or take a picture or something like that and send it to us electronically. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. We're not sure. We'll find out. But it was a very stressful process. We're just happy that it's over. And now we're a little bit relieved we don't have to continue running around today because. Offices are closing, it's Friday, and we just want to get moving, so we're glad it's done. You can get your permit at any Arunachal Pradesh government office. The easiest will be Delhi. They can do it instantly, we're told, and in that way then you can fly over, so that is an option for you. If you are doing the same as us in a smaller office, because it's so recent that foreigners can go into Arunachal Pradesh, the offices aren't knowing how to do things, and I think we were the very first foreigners to have done it here. But this is what they explained to us for you to do. You come into Guwahati, from the train station, within walking distance is Nepali Mandir, and on that same road is this government office, about two minutes walk from there. It will cost $50 equivalent in Indian currency for each person to get the permit. You will need to provide a photocopy of your passport main page and your Indian visa that you provide to them and if you are insistent you can be able to be provided an electronic copy of everything so that you don't have to stay in the same city that you submitted it for the three business days that it will take. Instead you can go off and when you get your electronic copy then you know you're ready to cross the border into a hotel for this. submitted 
whatever for I'm gonna sell for this as like a big weight was lifted even though it was expensive and ridiculously difficult for us our situation because we we're getting it from Guwahati it was just so great to get it done uh, I think if we backed out of that trip we would have just felt so frustrated ourselves so we're, we'll make it work basically travel is made easy for foreigners if you're flying in and out of places like you fly into the airport they give you a sim card and a welcome package um, but on the other hand if you're driving through from another country you don't get that and you have to get it yourself and it's difficult uh, as well if you fly into Delhi you're able to easily get a PAP permit for a room hotel for desk and apparently lots do but it's just it's rare that anybody is driving through and traveling through India and getting it from a nearby post. So we hope the information is helpful. If you're flying in, definitely get it in Delhi. If you're going to Guwahati, now you know what to do. Go to the office, provide the papers that we mentioned and pay the money. It should be $50 American, no more than that. We booked a ticket for first thing in the morning, tomorrow morning. So we're going to try to get some rest in this heat. Afterward, we're getting up around 5 o'clock to head out to Nagaland tomorrow in Dimapur. So that will be our next stop. We're looking forward to it very much over there. It also has a rich culture which we look forward to seeing. So please see it with us by subscribing to our channel. Give this a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow.